systems in the area. Immediately move away from the contaminated area. Wash exposed skin thoroughly with soap immediately. Contact the management of the building and the police at 999 or SCDF at 995. If you think someone has been exposed, keep your distance from the victim and call the SCDF at 995 for immediate assistance. Dirty bombs are conventional explosives spiked with radioactive material. They may be used to disperse harmful radiological material into the environment, causing radiological contamination over a wide area. Radiation damages the cells in your body. If a sufficient number of cells are killed, organs in the body will stop functioning. The victim will then show signs of radiation sickness that include nausea, vomiting, inflammation of exposed areas, and skin burns. Damaged cells that are not killed may develop into abnormal cells that exhibit rapid growth, commonly known as cancerous growth. The signs and symptoms of abnormal cell growth may not be apparent until many years later. If there is a radiation release near your building, check if your unit is damaged. If it is stable, remain in your unit, close all doors and windows, and turn off all ventilation systems. To limit the amount of radiation you are exposed to, you should seek shelter in buildings and other structures to shield you from radiation. If you think you may have been exposed to chemical, biological, or radiological agents, remove your clothes immediately, if possible, and seal them in a plastic bag. Look for a water source and wash with a large amount of water and soap. Seek immediate medical attention if you feel ill. If you suspect someone is exposed, do not administer aid, as you may also be affected. Get away from the threat immediately and seek help from the SCDF. Let's look at a scene of a chemical agent release to see how lives can be saved and hazards minimized by carrying out proper emergency procedures. Upon seeing three or more people showing symptoms of chemical poisoning and collapsing for no apparent reason, you should immediately cover your mouth and nose with a handkerchief or wet towel and stay away. You should also inform the building security wardens of the incident and get everyone to evacuate the affected area. If a chemical release happens while you are in your home or workplace, the important message signal from the public warning system will be sounded by SCDF. Tune in to the radio or television channel for advice and instructions from the authorities. Stay indoors and carry out in-place protection when required to do so. When the SCDF receives an emergency call for a hazardous material or hazmat incident, it will immediately dispatch hazmat emergency vehicles to the scene to carry out mitigation and decontamination efforts. A full decontamination process will entail six steps. Step 1. Register and collect a personal effects bag. Write your NRIC number on a personal effects bag with a waterproof marker. 
Remove all your small valuables and put them into the bag before sealing it and handing it over to the SCDF personnel. Proceed to the shower area. Step 2. Remove all clothing and dispose them in the trash bin. Step 3. Use the sponge and soap provided to wash your hair first, followed by your entire body. Scrub your entire body thoroughly, concentrating on the armpits and groin area. Dispose the contaminated sponge into the trash bin. Shower thoroughly for two minutes to wash off the contaminated detergent. Step 4. Wipe your body dry with a towel provided. Dispose of the used towel in the trash bin. Step 5. To ensure the effectiveness of a decontamination procedure, stretch out your arms to form a T-shape so rescuers can scan for any traces of contamination on the body. If you fail the check, you will be required to shower again. Step 6. Get dressed with a robe and footwear provided. Once dressed, you can proceed to rest in the temporary holding area. To learn more about unconventional threats and how you can keep yourself safe when such emergencies occur, you can refer to the latest edition of the Civil Defense Emergency Handbook for more emergency self-help advisories. The Civil Defense Emergency Handbook is a comprehensive reference manual which is available in all four languages. You can collect a copy of the handbook in your preferred language at any SCDF HQ, CD divisions, fire stations, fire posts, neighborhood police centers, and home team NS establishments. Animated versions of emergency preparedness advisories are also available on the SCDF webpage for you to pick up useful emergency knowledge. You can access the Learn Civil Defense program at www.scdf.gov.sg. To be trained and competent in emergency preparedness, you can attend the SCDF Community Emergency Preparedness Program or CEPD. This program is a five-module face-to-face instructional training available daily in our four SCDF public education centers for the public to pick up useful emergency knowledge and skills. Simply visit the SCDF website at www.scdf.gov.sg for more information on the CEPT and its registration procedures. You can minimize the adverse effects of any emergency by being prepared and ready. Remember, readiness is our only protection.